Meanwhile, guys, a new interview out just this morning in which Hillary Clinton has some fiery words for her former 2016 Democratic opponent, Bernie Sanders, saying, quote, nobody likes him. Clinton sat down with The Hollywood Reporter to talk about her new Hulu documentary series entitled Hillary, set to premiere at the Sundance Film Festival. The Hollywood Reporter noted that in the documentary, Clinton says that Sanders, quote, was in Congress for years. He had one senator support him. Nobody likes him. Nobody wants to work with him. He got nothing done. He was a career politician. It's all just baloney, she said, and I feel so bad that people got sucked into it. The Hollywood Reporter asked if that assessment still holds, to which Secretary Clinton replied, yes, it does. When asked whether she would endorse Bernie Sanders if he becomes a Democratic nominee, she replied, I'm not going to go there yet. We're still in a very vigorous primary season. I will say, however, that it's not only him, it's the culture around him. It's his leadership team. It's his prominent supporters. It's his online Bernie bros and their relentless attacks on lots of his competitors, particularly the women. And I really hope people are paying attention to that because it should be worrisome that he has permitted this culture, not only permitted, he seems to really be very much supporting it. Secretary Clinton also weighed in on the ongoing debate over whether Sanders did or did not say a woman could not be elected president, saying, quote, it's part of a pattern. If it were a one-off, you might say, okay, fine. But he said I was unqualified. I had a lot more experience than he did and got a lot more done than he had. But that was his attack on me. Again, that's Secretary Hillary Clinton talking to the Hollywood Reporter, Claire. Um, are, should we be surprised that she's coming out and saying these things at the time she's saying them? Well, you know, the documentary's out. Yep. And she said it in the documentary. And so certainly I don't think she is going to waver from that. Um, and, you know, it's how she feels. She's being honest about her mm -hmm. feelings and, and how she sees Bernie's candidacy. Um, but, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see if it has an impact on any potential Iowa caucus goers. I kind of think it won't. Mm. I think the Bernie yeah. support is baked in. Yeah. Um, and I think the other candidates are more fluid. But I think the Bernie number is really close to what it's going to end up being. So, Claire, let's uh, talk about some of uh, Secretary Clinton's uh, claims about Bernie Sanders. Um, is it true that he didn't have friends in the Senate? that he got very few things done in the Senate, Yikes. that he was an isolated force. Is that true? How about those cheats? <laughs> no. um. So is that, now I see, I mean, I think voters have a right to know. Uh, was Bernie disliked in the Senate? Did he have any friends in the Senate? Bernie was not someone who um, socialized much. He wasn't someone who was a backslapper. He uh, had a tendency to work from a position of um, seemingly moral superiority um, and, and, and really was not someone who gathered folks into his circle. Um, that's not to say he wasn't philosophically consistent. Um, I've heard many lectures by Bernie Sanders in the Democratic caucus to all of us, but they were kind of lectures. And um, I don't know how he would be as an executive in terms of working well with members of Congress or people that had equal power. He is very absolute in his ideas, and um, he actually doesn't see compromise as an attribute, which, of course, I think our Constitution kind of embraces. You know, did you see any of this uh, in the course of your relationship with Bernie Sanders in the Senate and personally? in that uh, I've sort of followed Bernie since he was mayor of Burlington, Vermont. And he's been consistent on every issue Absolutely. for 30, 35, 40 years. Consistency is a valued uh, commodity sometimes in politics. But seemingly as he has isolated himself across the years with his consistency and his belief that he alone uh, has the view on specific issues, his anger seems to have grown. Have you, have you noticed that at all? Well, Bernie's, you know, Bernie's personality is not um, warm and fuzzy. He's just not a warm and fuzzy guy. It doesn't mean he's a bad guy, but he's not right. a warm and fuzzy guy. And but he's an angry guy. I, 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 he can get angry. Um, I, I've seen him also have, um, you know, be able to laugh at himself every once in a while. So, um, but he does have an edge because he is so committed 
to his view so of what would be the right way to do everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he reminds me, Meek, well he, yeah. he reminds me an awful lot of Ron Paul, mm -hmm. uh, who mm -hmm. in the House of Representatives didn't have a ton of friends, but he, he believed passionately about what he believed passionately in. Yeah. And that was his life. Bernie, I worked with Bernie in the House. I liked Bernie. He wasn't a guy that was collegial and didn't slap people on the back, but I liked him very much personally. And you just knew Bernie, you know, he passed you in the hi Joe. Like but Larry Bernie David. was off. He was very focused, though, yes. on his mission, the bigger mission. And I think a lot of voters may actually like that fact that Bernie wasn't going around slapping backs. He was he was fighting for what he believed in, and he has been doing that his entire adult life. And he has an incredible following. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.